The defendant parent company, CAPE, was based in England. A subsidiary of CAPE was based in South Africa, where it mined asbestos. The asbestos was sold by other subsidiaries, one of which was based in Illinois, USA. The asbestos was sold to a factory in Texas, and a number of the factory's employees developed asbestos-related medical conditions. A US court ordered that 15 million be paid in damages, but this could only be enforced in the UK against CAPE if the claimants could show that CAPE was present in the USA. Accordingly, the claimants argued that CAPE was present in the USA through its Illinois subsidiary. For this argument to succeed, the separate personalities of the various companies would need to be ignored. The UK court refused to lift the veil and held that the US subsidiary was separate and distinct from its UK parent company. Accordingly, Kate was not present in the USA and the judgment of the US court could not be enforced against it. The court specified that the case of Salomon allowed a parent to use its subsidiaries to avoid liability in this way. And the court was of the opinion that on the facts of this case, there was no grounds to avoid following Solomon.